it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I spank my daughter with my hand over her shorts about six times and then I or five times and then I went to the other buttocks buttocks but she turned I only hit the other buttocks one time and then she turned to face me and said stop what triggered it was I heard sniffling so I went from the living room here to the bedroom. I thought it was my son because he sniffles in the morning sometimes. But it was her. And I saw her with the cell phone. And yesterday, my wife, I heard my wife say that because of the incident, my wife was going to take away the electronics internet connections for one week so I went over to talk to my wife but my wife said let me sleep so I walked back over there and I told my daughter to give me her cell phone she said no so I spanked her it was less than 20 seconds She locked her room. I think she went to the bathroom, then she locked her room. And I'm back over here. My wife came over here and told me that, why am I starting up so early in the morning? Or uh, this is how I start the day. In this video, I'll say that I had not spanked my daughter before. I believe that it is not necessary. I have now changed my mind. And I spoke to the wife. I said, when are you going to start obeying me? How can my daughter obey me if you don't obey me? So there we go. It was a spanking that was due from the last overdue it was overdue it was past I should have spanked her earlier so that she becomes a respectful person if I don't do it the police or somebody else is going to do it What are the results from the spanking? I don't know. Oh well. What can you do? thing that comes to mind is breathe in, breathe out, keep reading the Bible, keep being poised, Before I die, I will teach them how to earn money, how to think the way I think, other people's money, other people's efforts, other people's knowledge. These three techniques are very useful if you want to be successful in life. Otherwise. You could be your own dentist, your own plumber, your own mechanic. However, we need each other. So I will teach her and my son intelligence, skilled hands, morality, which includes the word respect.
very well. Choose to have a pleasant next hour. Because I go hour by hour here. Anything could happen at any moment in this house. And so I go hour by hour. I give thanks. And I keep myself busy. Now some people say I'm sitting still here. However, I do keep busy. I, as soon as one spoon is dirty, I go wash it. I'll show you what I showed them last night. Oh, there's a kitty on top of my shoes, my sandals. Where did I put it? This is a picture. It shows an old man writing down something. Uh, uh, probably his son carrying the heavy load there or helping the ox. The two sons, right? The two younger men are helping. Uh, this is Noah. And what I showed them was that because they mentioned that I don't do much work. I didn't do any gardening yesterday. I didn't do any gardening. I didn't do any I didn't cut the grass and I showed them that I am an old man and that the younger ones are doing the hard work and I'm old so I'm doing the the less intensive work and they say I'm not as old as as this old man appears to be and I mentioned to them that one, I have gray hair sometimes in some places. Two, the guy that died a year ago or two years ago at Spirit Elementary, he didn't have any gray hair yet. He looked in excellent shape. Well, he was a fat guy, but he was walking. He was. He looked fine, and he had a heart attack and died. And so that's that's a wake up call because his daughter was in third grade, I think, at the time. So what I'm saying is before I die, if this is the day that I that I die or if it's ten years from now or a hundred years from now, then I must teach my children something, and that is to be useful. I asked my wife yesterday, who works harder at, the, your, at the, my daughter's age? Who worked harder, my wife or my daughter? And my wife said, of course, that my wife worked harder, or, or my wife did work harder as a child. She did more. And that's fine. We want to help our children, right? I didn't have air conditioning, by the way, until I was 25 years old. On a steady basis. I'm not talking about the window air conditioning. I'm talking about the full house, nice air conditioning. internet I didn't have internet until I was about maybe 40 years old or or no 35 35 years old or something it existed when I was 30 we had it for a short moment but it was dial up I had to work I didn't have as much time and I didn't know how to use it everything's easier now all right so that's how we started the day today <sighs> you are like a tree planted by a river you are like a river of peace Hmm.